man, a Florida meteorologist went off on the air last night. Uh, he halted his forecast to give a dire on-air warning against Donald Trump in Florida, in Miami. Uh, Miami meteorologist John Morales issued a dire warning about hurricane season as it begins this month, which is news to the new director of FEMA, who was unaware that there existed something called hurricane season. I'm not kidding. Uh, he began with a clip of Hurricane Dorian slowly moving due west directly towards Florida in 2019. At the time, Morales promised that the hurricane would turn north and would not make landfall with Florida. And that's exactly what it did. That's what the hurricane did. It missed Florida altogether. But he said that kind of forecasting will be impossible this year. Uh, he said, as you've grown accustomed to my presentations over 34 years in South Florida, uh, confidently, I went on TV and told you this hurricane is going to turn. You don't need to worry. And then it did. And I was right because of the forecasting. Then he dropped the bombshell. I'm here to tell you I'm not sure I can do that this year because of the cuts, the Doge cuts and the Trump cuts, the gutting, the sledgehammer attack on science in general. And I could talk about that for a long, long time and how that's affecting the leadership in science over the years and how we're losing that leadership and that is a multi-generation impact on science in this country. On the screen behind him appeared bullet points reading Central and South Florida National Weather Service is up to 39% understaffed. There's been a 17% reduction in weather balloon launches across the United States. And he said that has degraded forecast accuracy. But specifically, let's talk about the federal government cuts to the National Weather Service and NOAA, N-O-A-A, -A, he continued. This type of staffing shortage is having impacts across this country, noting the weather balloon loss. What we're starting to see is that the quality of the forecasts is becoming degraded. He continued, there's also a chance because of some of these cuts that NOAA Hurricane Hunter aircraft will not be able to fly this year and with less reconnaissance missions, they may be flying blind if they do. And we may not exactly know how strong a hurricane is before it reaches the coastline, like what happened a couple of years ago with Hurricane Otis in Acapulco, Mexico. I think that was the one that went from like a tropical storm to a Cat 5 in like 12 hours. Uh, he then made a plea for audience members to call their members of Congress to fight for this funding. NOAA and the National Weather Service were cut drastically uh, as Trump's waste, fraud, and abuse bullshit campaign. So, I mean, if you're living in Texas, Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, Florida, South Carolina, Georgia, uh, we're three, we're three days into hurricane season and you guys aren't going to get the forecasts you need anymore. Oh, wait, there was one other point that I wanted to make. Every single one of those states voted overwhelmingly for Donald Trump. Good luck this summer, guys.